Guys, welcome back to Brim and Grum Gaming. I'm Brim. That's Grum sitting over there. Wait, you can't see us at all, can you? That's right. The face cam is down. But welcome back to the channel. We are here to play some modded Minecraft. Now, I know what you're thinking, but wait, Brim, you don't play modded Minecraft. Well, you are absolutely right. I do not play modded Minecraft, except that I now play modded Minecraft. Uh, the end of last year, I ran into a group of gamers, the WASD Gaming Group. And they only play modded Minecraft, so uh, if I was going to hang out with them and play Minecraft, I was going to have to play modded Minecraft. So I did, and it turns out I absolutely love modded Minecraft. Um, it takes everything that Minecraft is and makes it better. Uh, I will probably play some more vanilla Minecraft at some point, but I am totally addicted to modded Minecraft. So, in my hunt, that server that we were playing with with those guys kind of fell apart. But uh, I still wanted to play modded Minecraft, so I started looking for... Uh, questing type maps and I ran into the Agrarian Skies 2 map. Now, uh, I have done some research on the map. I, I kind of know the basics for Agrarian Skies. I've obviously not played the Agrarian Skies series before, uh, having not been in a modded Minecraft type individual before, uh, but obviously we're not new to Minecraft so I think we can figure it out and I absolutely want to give this a try, but I thought it was about time for me to return to the community as well. So here we are firing up uh, Agrarian Skies 2. I've gone ahead and created a I'm creating a new templated world based on the Agrarian Sky stuff. Now we've got looks like we've got options for the world type. Um, hard, easy, normal, normal, normal. Uh, okay, we obviously don't want to do the easy map. Um, I think this one, the Morvi Cottage, is supposed to be most like the original, but obviously I didn't play the original, so it doesn't matter. And I like a challenge, so I think we're just going to jump right in and go straight to the hard map, which may be a mistake. We will find out as we move forward here. But we're going to create a new world based on that. And see what we get. Uh, Forge one, checking missing blocks. Uh, this all looks like Agricraft stuff, so I'm going to guess these aren't in the pack. Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with my install. I installed this from the uh, Curse Voice client, so I'm going to assume that that's just they're intentionally missing. I don't know that for a fact. If we run into a problem, we might have to see if we can re-add those somehow. But let's see what we get here. I'm so excited to be returning to the environment. Uh, those of you who have followed me will know that. Ooh. Well, when they say all that remains, they're not playing, are they? Uh, may know that I've been absent from the community for most of a year at this point. Uh, some of that is personal stuff that's been going on health-wise. Some of that is uh, work stuff that's been going on. I've been tremendously busy, kind of letting the world generate, although I guess it doesn't really have to generate much. seems to have caught up here, though. All right, um, quest mode is an enabled use HQM quest to enable it. All right, let's see what we've got here. Uh, you have reached this region either by being assigned to it by your overlords or by completing your previous region's rebuilding. Well, we didn't do Agrarian Skies 1. I'm assuming that's what it's talking about. Still a lot to be done to repair the destruction. Blah, 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 blah. Jaded one, the cute one, and the all-knowing one are all happy. Blah, 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 blah. Overlords, stuff, do stuff, punch a tree, get wood, avoid dragons. Avoid dragons, nice. Click here to start. Okay. So this is the quest book. This is a questing pack. Um, it has quests to complete. Currently died zero times. Click here for more information. Oh, it shows us how we died. Uh, you are not currently in a party. Okay, well, since there's nobody else on the server, that makes perfectly good sense. Uh, six quests available. Click here to show quests. Aha! So these must be the... Wow, lots of quests. It looks like most of this stuff is still grayed out. I'm assuming we have to unlock it or something. Learning to skyblock. One quest available for completion. First steps. Ah, get wood. Alrighty then. So, uh, let's take a look at our inventory. Let's just get all this stuff. It looks like we start off with... More than one oak sapling, at least. Uh, we've got a little bit of dirt. Looks like there's a piece of dirt over there. That's really about it. So, uh, let's see if we can jump over to it. Uh, I mean, this makes me nervous. Those of you who have hung out with me before know that... Uh-oh! I don't really do parkour. Oh, come on. Oh, man, that makes me so nervous. Alright, so let's see if we can rescue this one piece of dirt. It's in a bad location. Oh, ooh, we did get it. Good. And then we will put a piece of dirt back down here. And we will grab an oak sapling. So we're going to start this just like we would start any Minecraft uh, game. We're going to punch trees. The only difference is that... Oh, can you not... Well, it's taken the bone mill. Ah, ooh, boy, it took a lot of bone mill. It took 14 bone mill to get that tree. Uh, the only difference is that before you can punch a tree, you have to grow a tree. All right, so we got one. Um, let's go ahead and turn that into. Yeah, let's turn that into a um, crafting station, and then we can actually set that crafting station over here on the side. 
like that. Of course, if we ever need to break it, it's now going to go straight into the void and we'll lose it forever. Of course it will. Okay, now let's jump up. Oh, goodness. Sliding around. I don't like it at all. I'm nervous, guys. It has been forever and a day since a game of Minecraft uh, might have made me a little bit nervous at all, but I have to admit... Okay, no, wait. I may not want to... I wonder if this is like Direwolf 20, in that when I break this, all these leaves are going to pop. Uh, guys, I also noticed just now in the video over there that my aspect ratio is off a little. Let me... Uh, I'm going to pause right here. I'm just going to pause my game. I'm going to jump over there, fix that, and I'll be back with you in just a second. Okay, guys, sorry about that. It looks like I've got that fixed. I don't know what was causing that, but uh managed to get it resolved. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and turn these into planks. Planks into slabs. <clears throat> and then we'll go ahead and start building. Just try to preserve as much. Can we get that up there? Yes. There. Yep, yep, yep. Try to preserve as much of the saplings as possible. Um, like I said, I did do a little bit of research on this mod pack, but it's been a while. And I kind of remember the gist of it, but I don't remember a lot of the really specific things. Like, I know there's a uh, thing that looks like a shepherd's crook. Actually, it might be called a crook. Let me see here. Crook? No? Oh, yes, crook. Uh, this thing will make it so that when we harvest the leaves, we get better drop rates um, for uh, worms? Silk silkworms. I think they're called silkworms. Pretty sure that. Oh, no, I did not want to do that. Um, as well as saplings, and that's really, I mean, obviously we only started with, what, eight saplings? Yeah. So we need every sapling we can get our hands on, um, so that we make sure we don't run out of saplings. I suspect that would be game-ending if we ran out of saplings. I certainly don't know how to go about getting more saplings. Um, okay, let's see. That's not going to interfere with the water. This doesn't interfere with the water. And that is all of the planks we had. Now... Uh, unfortunately, did not leave enough wood to build a crook. Maybe this is not the last wood. Let's hope not. It is not. So let's go ahead and see if we can make a crook and break those leaves. Uh, was it? No, it was like this, right? Yeah. Okay, let's put our saplings here so that we can actually see. Oh, oh. And, okay, there's an apple. That's good. We need a sapling. We just need one to get back to what we had originally. Nothing. You're not going to give me anything. So fall up there. No. Oh, there's one. Okay, good. So that at least breaks even. I'm really kind of nervous about... Uh, you know, it's been... I've played so much Minecraft that I can play Minecraft in my sleep, right? I mean, uh, probably... For real, could play Minecraft in my sleep. Um certainly doesn't make me nervous anymore. Uh, I will tell you that modded Minecraft still has the ability to make me nervous. Um, it is an interesting and new sensation. Now I think if we put stuff in here and we close it, yeah, that stuff stays. So we could use this as kind of some temporary storage in case we fall. One of those in there, one of those would be nice if we weren't carrying all of the saplings are probably more important. Um, the wood is what we're growing, so let's take that out. Let's put that in there. We'll grab one sapling because we're fixing to regrow it. That means we'll be out of food if we fall into the void and die. We'll lose one. For some reason, we've got two questing books. I don't know if they're different or they're. Okay, that looks like the one we had a moment ago. Let's put the other one in like slot four, and that'll be it. And it goes to the exact same place. So I'm going to guess it's just like a backup book in case you get killed or something. So there we go. That's what we've got. All right, let's uh, let's grow one more of these together. All right. Now I also know. Um, excellent. There was a sapling. Actually, it looks like we've already gotten three saplings. I think I only put one in my inventory, right? And that would have I would have planted that, and it would have gone away. that last uh we got six saplings out of that though is that right it is wow that's excellent okay good all right guys uh, i'll tell you what we're going to do let's do um let's punch down this tree now that we've got it blah, 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 blah. i wonder if we can use vanilla tools um and i hate to waste wood finding out but 
even a vanilla wooden axe would make this part faster. Here, let's just find out. Ooh, let's grab that so it doesn't fall off. Uh, of course, now we got to take all this stuff out of here. I tell you what, let's go ahead and build. Um, I think we've got enough wood now. We can do it comfortably. Um, I don't feel like we're just really blowing resources on something that's unnecessary. Uh, let's just put that. We can't put it there or else the tree won't grow. Uh, we can put it over there, I guess. All right. Oh. Uh, let's see. We'll need three planks, two sticks. That should be enough. Uh, this tool cannot mine anything. It can only be used for crafting. Well, I guess that answers that then, doesn't it? So, no! Um, okay, let's take a look at our... Oh, look. Um, first step in questing to understand how quest turn-ins work. Quests are handled either through the quest book or through the quest block. So, obviously, there's a block or something. First type of quest is detection quest. This is complete. All you need to do is have it in your inventory. Otherwise, everything is or dictionary, a request for wooden planks, will accept any kind of wood. Use the manual detect button to detect items already in your inventory. Okay, so it looks like that one's already done, and then that opened up another one to make planks, which we, we've done. And then here's one. Wait, what? Planks. Oh, they want us to do the manual select task. I'm confused. Uh, maybe they want us to do the manual select thing, because we've got planks in our inventory. Yep, that was that. Okay, uh, and now we have a claim. Yay! Okay, so rewards, it's going to give us. Guide to Life in the Void. Uh, eight more apples, which is good because we don't have any food right now. And then we pick one, either the Pick of Tears or the Pan of Misfortune. Now, I think we have to cook all of our food. I don't think uh, there's no freebie, if you will, quote unquote, for food. So I think we have to cook all of our food, which is going to make the pan important right now. And obviously, we don't have, I mean, other than knocking these blocks down, we don't have anything to mine. So, is there any reason to have a pick right now? Uh, if there is, I certainly can't think of what it might be. So I think we're going to choose the Pan of Misfortune. Well, now, isn't that pleasant? It plays a little victory song. Alright, so how do we use this pan? Do we put it in something? Do we click it? Do we place it? Do we, like, shift-click it? Oh, we shift-click it. Place it. Okay. Oh, okay. So, um, we'll put food over here and fuel over here. Fuel over here. Maybe we can't cook apples. Okay, well, um... Maybe maybe that's how we cook the silkworm things. We, didn't, we don't have any silkworm things. Do we? No, we do not. Um, what was this? Life in the void. Okay. Reach this region. It looks like the same thing. First steps, punch trees, blow it, and avoid dragons. Oh, so there's a whole um, getting started sort of thing here. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, well, there's a thing about string. Here's some mob trap, it looks like. Okay, well, cool. Um, I think we're going to toss that in there for now. Uh, I, I'm a guy. I read the manual only if all else fails. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grow a couple more trees and punch them down. It's getting dark here in the void, uh, and there's no reason for you guys to have to watch the night close in on us when all I'm going to be doing is punching trees anyway. So I, I will cut back here if anything interesting happens. Otherwise, I will see you when I've got some wood and we've got some other things to do. So back with you in just a second. Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, as you can see, since you've been gone, I've widened our platform just a little bit, not a lot. I think I've grown uh, two or three trees. But the last tree, I wasn't getting any silkworms. I was concerned that I was doing something wrong. Uh, but the last tree actually got three silkworms, so we're going to go ahead and infest this tree. Now, they can be used... Uh, oh, it's wiggling on my screen. That's freaky. Look, I like right over the chest. See him trying to crawl on the chest? That's weird. So you can use them to infest the trees. Uh, you can also... I think we can cook these. We put this in here and put that in there. Can we cook? Yes, it looks like it is cooking. Um... Ah, look, there's a progress indicator. Okay, cool. Um, hmm, I guess we'll cook that one. Maybe it'll be a better food than the apples were. The apples are pretty pathetic as far as the food source goes. Yeah, look, my food bar didn't move at all. Um, hmm. Okay, well, wait a minute. Now it's like flashing and going up a little bit. Let's eat another one and see what happens. Um, not much is the answer. So we're going to have to find a better food source really, really fast. All right, so let's go ahead. Um, we now have we now have several chunks of wood. So let's go ahead and oh oh here's the other thing. While you were gone, I went ahead and looked up the oak barrel. Um, so we have one source block of water right here, right? But one source block of water is kind of useless in Minecraft. The only way to get oh that frying pan is driving me crazy. Sitting there, I'm going to have to move it. The only way to get a second um, 
source block of water is to build a barrel and then catch it when it's raining. So we're going to go ahead and build a barrel, I guess. I guess we'll just set it here by the other water. And then hope that it rains soon so that we can catch some more water. Uh, okay, so this one is infested. Now if we break infested, what did we get? Looks like we got a worm, but we did not get string. This is the way, according to this book, um, where are the guide right here? So this guide has got all the contents. There's something about getting started. There's something in here about string. Depending on the map you start on, extra string, blah, 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 blah. Um, dirt where you grow any trees, five, seven blocks away, grow another one. I'm going to take one of the silkworms from the crooking the leaves and right click on it to put a new tree to infest it. You can use multiple silkworms to speed up the process. Now just take care of punching them to get more wood while you wait for the tree, blah, 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 blah. So the long and short is, if we let these leaves become infested and then break them with the crook, we can get string from the leaves. So I guess the idea there is that the silkworms are making silk in the tree and that we can then break that down and um, get the silk out in the form of string. So we're going to go ahead and do we really make, I guess that'll be okay. We need to really, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and get at least two more barrels set up too for water and um, we're going to start composting stuff at some point to make dirt. So let's go ahead and get these set up like that and get off the bucket. And let's see if we can get a little bit of stream here. Um, we're not quite, that one's not quite infested yet. Let's see if there's something else we can accomplish in here before we move on. Uh, oh, we can build all the, yeah, yeah, did I... Did I just get rid of all of our wood? I did. Uh, we're going to need at least one wood. So that is all of the Tinker Tools benches. And we can do those pretty quickly. So let's see. We need... Oh, there's the book. We need a stencil table, a tool station. We've already done the crafting station. That's actually what's on the floor right there. Uh, we need a pattern chest, a blank pattern, and a part builder. We're going to need one, two... I think we're going to need four patterns. So we're going to need two sets of patterns. Um, so let's do one, two... Um, and then we're going to need like that and like this to make two sets of patterns. All right, then we'll put this here, and bang, and that gives us a part builder. Uh, we do not have enough to build a chest anymore. Grr. One. I think I can knock out this one and one right above it. That's what happens when you make too many slabs. Uh, I suppose we need a chest here. Just grab that and make our chest. And then the chest plus one of these should be the pattern chest. All right, we've got the part builder and the pattern chest. This gives us something. I don't know which one it is. That is the stencil table. Right, and what are we missing? We're missing, we're missing the tool station. Oops. Uh, we can just do that down here. Tool station is a crafting station plus a blank pattern. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, except I'm out of wood again. No, always out of wood. Uh, is that the last, maybe the last wood in the tree, in which case the leaves are going to start deteriorating? Mm, okay, let's start breaking some, okay, there was string, I think. We got string, yay, we got string. That one infested, infested, infested. Oh, that one wasn't fully infested, but we got string out of it anyway, though. Infested, we got a lot of string out of that one. Okay, I think we'll go ahead and take this last one. Oh, it wasn't the last one. Good, good, good. All right, so what are we trying to build? Tool station. It's a crafting station. Like this. And then we need a crafting station, and a crafting station plus a pattern is a tool station, and that should be that quest, right? Um, no. Oh, we got a new, like a flint axe head. Okay, so we need to flop all these down. Let's flop these down here real quick. All right, so... Uh, we can come over here, I guess. Part builder, tool station, uh, pattern chest there. That'll work. Alright, now, put this in here. We need an axe head. There's the axe head pattern. Now we put that over here, and we need flint, which we've got to start with, right? Put that in here. We get a flint axe head. Uh, what else? Probably wants us to build a. Oh, nope. Uh, that's it. We can claim our reward. Now we get to choose between. So let's pick one. Uh, that's aluminum ore, which would be nice. Pick one, either milk bottle or eggs. Um, eggs, we might have a chance of getting chicken, and I don't know how else we're going to get chicken, so... Ding, 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 ding. I hope that sounds loud in y'all's ears as it is in mine. It is very loud over here. Uh, Alright, do we have anything else? Oh, we've gotten string. Nice. 
Um, sheep spawn, seeds or sugarcane seeds. Uh, what's this? Rainmaker and a spawn for getting cobblestone. Um, crop sticks. What is that? Potato seeds. Oh, we get two regular seeds and a lettuce seed. I think we can probably do crop sticks right here, right now. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and break these down real quick. They're starting to deteriorate. We don't want that to happen. Um, crop sticks are. You cannot plant uh, if. AgriCraft is installed and configured the way it is in this mod pack. You cannot plant. Oh, did I lose that stream? Nope. You cannot plant um, crops on normal, uh, just tilled land. You actually have to make crop sticks uh, and then put the plants on them. There we go. Uh, and we want to do that probably in our next episode. We'll probably jump right into AgriCraft because that is probably going to be the best way to feed ourselves initially. Um, uh, the apples, I mean, how many apples did we eat? And we're still hungry, so that's not going to cut it not a long time. Um, what are we doing? I'm so easily distracted. Oh, crop sticks. So easily distracted. Butterflies! Actually, we have four sticks. And then we put them like this. Oh, like that. There we go. Crop sticks. Let's see what else we need to do. That's it. Uh, we get two seeds, a lettuce seed, and our all important watering can. Uh, this allows us to grow crops fairly rapidly, so that's really important. And then pick one, either the potato seed or the raiding hoe. Um, let's see. Now with AgriCraft installed we can also do crop mutations. Uh, potato seed. And we get that. What is this? Potato seeds. Oh, we can just turn a regular potato into seeds. Uh, and we get it from sifting dirt. We're going to have to sift a bunch of dirt to get stone to make our first cobblestone. So we're probably going to get those from sifting. So we will not take the potato seed. We will take the raiding hoe and our seeds and our watering can and yay all right guys let's see have we made some progress we've made a little bit of progress um, oh this is when we're going to claim Molito. well we just got seeds all right we just got regular seeds so oh that's our time right there so we don't need the regular seeds here anymore we're going to get a sheep and we will take the sugarcane seeds and we'll claim that one see if anything else opened up all right guys so next time we will knock out some more of these quests um, and see about moving into Sky Farm, because this is where uh, we can see crossbreeding and that sort of stuff happening. Um, quest locked. Well, guys, I am very pleased to be back to shooting videos, very pleased to be back in the community. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoy Agrarian Skies, too. I look forward to seeing you next time, and until next time, be good. Hey, guys, be sure to click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and sub if you haven't, and uh, check out the rest of my videos. Appreciate you spending your time with me and have a great day.